Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomu's Biology. In this video lecture, we are going to talk about Salmonella typhi microbiology. Microbiology of Salmonella typhi bacteria, Salmonella typhi characteristics, what is Salmonella typhi? as a detail so this first thing is gram nature of salmonella typhi the gram nature if you want to talk about it is gram negative in nature gram negative bacteria diseases uh, that it cause what is the disease it cause it cause typhoid fever okay that is very common kind of fever virulence factors that that are released by salmonella typhi which can cause this infection type 4 pili type 4 pili is present and that facilitates the adhesion or attachment of salmonella typhi to the host cell. The second factor that they use is a six, six antigen. Six antigen that is released by the salmonella typhi. A capsule that inhibits the phagocytosis process. So it's nothing but the capsule of salmonella typhi. Salmonella pathogenicity islands are known as SPIs. Particular structures, uh, genes uh, that are present. So it genes for secretion system. A stretch of genes uh, that link that the function of which are linked together in the secretory pathways that leads to the release of proteins from the salmonella typhi bacteria and that can cause the pathogenicity okay these are the three virulence factors next incubation period how long does it take to cause the uh, fever six days to 30 days time is the incubation period for salmonella typhi infection antibiotic susceptibility the salmonella typhi bacteria is susceptible uh, to antibiotics like fluoroquinolones and cephalosporins remember that fluoroquinolones and cephalosporins what about the antibiotic resistance uh, we can comment on that that we have increasing resistance against multiple antibiotics including fluoro quinolones next one is the culture media what are the culture media that we use to culture salmonella typhi grows on standardized culture media maconkey ag agar or blood agar can be used as a media to culture salmonella typhi as non lactose fermenting colonies there are organisms out there e coli lactose fermenting colonies non lactose fermenting colonies are the salmonella typhi colonies how can we detect salmonella typhi in a patient specimen there are four methods the method number one that we want to talk about is blood culture we take the blood from the patient we culture that and the culture gives us colony which are non lactose fermenting colonies we can detect them and can confirm the presence of salmonella typhi in the blood of the patient the second method that we can use is stool culture method because salmonella typhi in the typhoid fever it also causes real problem related to diarrhea isolates the bacterium from the fecal samples with this method the third method that we can use are the serological tests uh, which can detect the presence of antibodies against the salmonella typhi that are produced by our uh, body so we can detect that and the fourth technique which we generally use our pcr method which can be used to detect the presence of the nucleic acid component of salmonella typhi okay so these are all the detection methods that are available i believe you have a clear idea about the salmonella typhi characteristics and if you like this video please hit the like button share this video to friends and subscribe to get more videos like that in future thank you bye